Hi, hello. This is now I'm going to show you how to open up a document and save it to your desktop so that you can have it to turn into Teams. All right, so if you, you should probably recognize this. This is your um, single sign-on page. I'm going to click on to the Microsoft 365 where you normally see Teams. Okay, now the two documents that you really want to pay attention to, to to do work on the computer is Word and PowerPoint. Okay, so today I'm going to open up PowerPoint. So I'm going to click open PowerPoint and we're going to select the blank presentation. The other ones are just too busy. We have to do our school work and so this is better to do blank. Okay, now you've got, um, you are still online. So you have some options up here. You don't have every option, but you've got a lot. Um, all right, so let's think about our work. Uh, sometimes we're just answering questions like number one, number two, and then sometimes we're inserting pictures. So first I'll show you how to insert a picture. Let's say you did something and you took a picture of it. So you hit insert, picture, and then you're, it's a picture from this device. And it's got to be saved to this device or it won't work. Or it has to be like your phone has to be attached with a USB plug. So you're going to choose the file and you're going to go searching for your picture. Okay. It could be for, let's see, pictures. Um, really doesn't matter. Okay, this is a Grandparents Day picture from long ago. And I'm going to insert it. Okay, so um, I can move it to kind of fit. I can... I can make it get big over uh, this. I can even hover over this and delete it if I didn't like a text box on that. And there you go. Now there's a picture. Okay, so let's say the next slide I want is going to be some math questions I'm going to answer. And I'm just going to give the, an the answer. So I'm going to, I need a new slide. So I'm going to go over here and hit new slide. And then I'm going to pick my slide. I think I'm just going to pick a, a blank slide. Double click that. And so here's my blank slide. And so now I can't stop typing. As you see, I can't just start typing. I have to insert a text box. So I'm going to hit insert. And it's a text box. I'm going to um, write something down. So that's words. I can make this text box bigger and bigger if I need room. Or it will, um, well, I guess I'll start typing. It will fit. Sometimes it fits to your um, needs, and then sometimes you need to make it bigger. So 569, let's say that was it. I hit enter. Oh, see, it gets bigger. Two was 76 and 56 hundredths. Three is parallel. Para, and I'll, I won't spell it all because I just want to get to it for, okay, so you answered your questions, and let's say you needed to draw some parallel lines. So um, over here it says draw, I'm gonna click on draw, I'm gonna click on that, and draw some parallel lines as best I can. There you go. So now I have all this, and let's say, let's pretend that this was it, this is all I had. So now I still have to name the document, and it's still on the internet. So first I have to get it on my computer. So I'm gonna hit file. And there's not a save as yet. You have to say download as. So file download as, and I'm gonna download a copy. And then um, hold on until, okay, it says, says your presentation is ready, now downloads, because it hasn't downloaded yet. And hit download, and it should head on down here. There it is. So it started to pop up here. And I'm going to click on it and it'll open as soon as it's ready. Now once you see it's ready, you see this yellow bar up top. You need to hit enable editing. That's going to let you keep working on it. Let's say if you wanted to add another page or something. Okay, now it's time to name it. And now we're going to go to file, save as. We're going to find the place. It's going to be on this PC. And it's anywhere you want on the PC, but I like to put it on the desktop if I'm a kid. So I'm going to double click desktop. Now, I've already got a lot of, of folders on this desktop, but if you want to create a new folder, you can come up here and create new folder for your desktop and just name it. You know, let's say your name is J Jimmy. Jimmy. 
Okay, this is my file. And then you double click on that after you named it. And then here it's open. And now I want to name this something, you know, work for 3.30. And maybe it's mostly math. Let's say it was mostly math. Okay, then we hit save. And now it's saved to my desktop. So let me close out and show you. Here's my messy desktop. So let's say I saved it and I called it Jimmy, right? So when I go to my desktop, I'm going to look for, oh, there it is. Pull it over here so you can see it. There's Jimmy. And I'm going to open that up. And there's my work right there. So when I go into turn in, sorry, my hand guys. So when you go into turning your work to Teams, that's how, that's where it is. That's where it's going to be found. All right, that's how to save a document to a desktop.